All right. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Lake. So sorry, I haven't been posting a lot lately. Um, I've been kind of busy with life, kind of. No, I'm kidding. I'm just being lazy. Like I've just been sleeping a lot because like I've due to my work schedule and and how far I have to drive um, to work um, and back to work and back. Um, I've been lacking a lot of sleep. I don't get enough sleep lately. Um, so because of that, on my days off, I've been like using that to like get as much sleep as I can to make up for it. I sleep a lot on my days off. Even right now, I'm kind of like half tired, half awake. But I want to say it's mostly due to what I ate. Like I ate something really heavy today. But anyways, let's, uh, uh, let's continue with what we're doing. And then we'll probably continue the conversation later. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a P.O. Positive or that key. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's... Oh, there's a... How did I go up? Let's go here? No, let's go here. Go all the way back. Because it, it's going to be on the left. Right. I don't know. Anyways, um, so um, yeah, I just had a, a huge lunch today. I I went to Carl's Jr. and I got a funny story about about Carl's Jr. about what I experienced today. Um, so I used a coupon to get um to get to get a big Carl. So it was buy one big Carl combo, get a sandwich for free. Um, or got to get a sandwich for a dollar. So that's what I got. And of course, you know, I'm supposed to, I get my food, but then uh, I realize my drink is missing. So the guy at the at the window, you know, I told him I was like, "Hey, uh, um, forgot my drink." He's like, "Oh, so like, oh, sorry about that." And he me left. And the weird thing is, is that so not only did he leave, but there was a cup ready at the fountain, but for some reason he did not fill it up. He kind of just walked off. Which is weird. I'm like, why did you, like, why? You just walked away out of, for no reason. And the weird thing is, I thought he was going to give my drink because he said, oh, sorry about that. Give me a second. And he walked away. Like, he disappeared into the back. And then what happened next is that a new person, whoops, I kissed my, uh, I actually touched the, the, the voice filter. But uh, the next thing is that um, a new person walks up, um, a new girl. Oh, not new girl, but like a different employee walks up, and and then she's like, "Say, like, hey, uh, are you waiting for something?" And I'm like, "Yeah, my drink." Like I forgot my drink and stuff like that. It's like, "Oh, okay. Uh, what did you get again?" It's like I told I told her like my raspberry iced tea. This is what I ordered for my drinks. Like, oh right, your raspberry iced tea, and the cup was still there. Keep in mind, it was still there, and the cup was empty. All right, the cup was empty. And the thing is, she could have, she could have gave me my drink and just fill up the new cup. But instead, she grabbed the second cup to get the drink for the customer that was waiting behind me in line. This, this is in the drive-thru too. I forgot to mention that. I was going through the drive-thru. So that happened. And then after like, and this went on for like a total of like five minutes. Okay, maybe not five minutes. I think it's a bit of a, an exaggeration. Maybe like two or three minutes. It went on for like a total of two or three minutes, and after that, after that time went uh, went up, um, that same girl who asked me like um, if I for, if I was waiting for something, she finally decided to fill up my drink, or get my drink in, um, or fill up the cup, fill up the cup and give me my drink. She finally did that. I think she didn't do it before because she was waiting for the other guy. But the guy never came back. Was the weird part? It's like he just never. Ooh, oh, oh. 
He just never came back to get me my drink. I thought he went to the back to see if my drink was available because I don't know if he thought like, you know, uh, it needed to be refilled or anything like that. But who knows? But I don't know how their refilling process worked. I don't, I've never worked at a fast food restaurant. I don't know how they refill the drink dispenser. So, yeah. Maybe he did disappear and he, uh, he like turned on some sort or he filled it up in the back. And then it just, and then the drink just traveled on to the front um, uh, drink fountain, which is when the girl is finally able to um, get my drink. But yeah, it was, it was so weird. It was like the weirdest experience I've ever had. Because like, like everything was basically ready. The only thing I needed was my drink. You know, I got my food, you know, the only thing I was missing was, uh, my drink and the weird thing is that they had the cup ready it was just it was just empty like it was right there sitting under the 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 iced tea um portion right like it was sitting right there just waiting and they just nobody bothered to do anything with it for some reason and i i will never understand why it was just i was just so confused as to why that happened oh my right ear just got itchy Also, who the heck is Cheryl again? Was she like the hippie? I don't remember. Ah, oh, you're still here, huh? Yep, for now. Yep, for now. When are your parents coming back? I'm fixing my headphones. All right. Actually, they might just stay in Florida. Florida? Your parents? <laughs> Um, turning up my brightness or changing the picture mode. There we go. Better. Doesn't show any difference for you guys, but it shows differences for me. Um. Uh, yeah, isn't it weird? Yeah, isn't it weird? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, there's too many crocodiles. Um, they found a lovely place next to the beach. We'll see what happens. It sounds like someone's a little jealous. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Well, I better be on my way. Have a nice Have day. Have a nice day. Uh, let's see what else she got to say. Maybe she would talk about the... Do you think it'll rain today? It's been raining a lot lately. Um... You know, have you have you taken a step outside? Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's raining right now. So, you know. I wonder if the weather is random. Actually, I think it is. Because one time I, uh, I re-recorded uh, an episode because, like, nothing got recorded. Or it was just too choppy. Or I think I made a mistake. And on that same day, like, I just... Um, it was, a, like, the weather was completely different. Because it was, like, rainy... The first time I played, then it was sunny um, the next time. Ooh, wow, I got a lot of things to do. Wow, okay. So, should I make... I'll finish up the deliveries around here, maybe. Should I? Or should I just do one delivery and just go all the way around? All the way around. Yeah, I think I'll just make the... Uh, just go all the way around. I think it's easier. Go the usual route. Actually, we'll go left this time. I always go to the right. Alright. There you go. Um... Oh, oh yeah, I think I've decided not to do any more Street Fighter stuff. I think I'll post clips here and there, like when I, if I ever play online. I'll record clips, but uh, I don't think I'll do the world tour. I don't think I'm too interested in that. And, or at least I'm not too interested in like doing a video for it. I think I'll probably do that on my own or something like that. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Uh, it depends on what you guys think. Just let me know in the comments. Um... 
what you think uh, or what I should do. Um, should I play Street Fighter Six World Tour? Or should I just do something else and continue with Persona, uh, which I've been meaning to get back to. I only played that first part. I haven't really done anything else after that. Um, been kind of just lazy. I, I'm thinking about recording Persona after this. But I'm kind of tired. Like... I want to play this game is pretty relaxing, you know. Just, you know, cool off my head for a bit. Cool off my mind. Whoa! No, I don't want to play anything too stressful. Not that I think, like, Persona is stressful or anything, because it's kind of a turn-based um, game. Which, to me, turn-based games aren't that intense. Unless it, unless it gets, like, really intense. Like, if I were to play something like, I don't know... Final Fantasy, I think I'll probably have a more harder, harder time. But yeah. Oh, there's something else I've been doing is that uh, I've been playing um, Pokemon Pearl uh, Remastered for the Switch. Yeah, um, I've been meaning to play it for a while. I just never found the motivation or reason to do it. But uh, my cousin, um, my cousin got Diamond. So that only that's that basically kind of like pushed me to like uh, officially play, you know, or officially go buy and play Pearl, which was the one I originally played. I originally played Pearl. I didn't play Diamond. Apparently, and apparently Diamond was a more popular one. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some whale performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Hello. Farmer DJ Jack. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? I'm sorry, what? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. Bye, Jack. Uh, bye, Jack. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. No problem. I close the door. I close the door. As I was saying, um... No? Okay. What was it saying? I totally forgot what the heck I was saying. I think I was saying something about... Playing Persona? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, my cousin bought um, Pokemon Diamond, which then basically convinced me to finally buy Pearl. Excuse me. And uh, I'm honestly really enjoying it. A wave of nostalgia hit me when I was playing it. And heck, uh, when I got the box, just like the box art or the preview on the back of the box of like where you first get your Pokemon, like just that one area already hit my brain full of nostalgia. But yeah, uh, and I was debating on doing a Let's Play or a live stream of that, but I was like, nah, I want to enjoy it, you know. And besides, I'm playing mobile style, and, you know, it just feels more natural. I haven't, I haven't done it. I haven't played on my TV yet. I just think it'll be awkward. And the funny thing is, um, Pokemon Pearl was the first Pokemon game, well, traditional Pokemon game that I've ever played. And I and it was the first and only Pokemon game I've beaten. I played the other Pokemon games. I just haven't beaten it. Um, I would have beaten the second one, which was black. No, white. I had Pokemon white. Whoa! It's storming. It's thunderstorm. Holy crap. Oh, my God. I didn't know the weather would get this bad. Wait, hold on. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Right here. Is there anything further down? No. Just that. Oh, this guy. I don't want to deal with this guy again. Piece of crap. 
Oh, there he is. Gotta do a proper park job. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Damn, Jesus. Maybe it's part of the story. That's lighter than I thought. Kind of a big box. Alright, now where's the guy? I saw him walking. Oh, there he is. Hey, you. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting a metal detector. I wasn't expecting a metal detector here. Uh, I, I'm not a metal detector, actually. Oh, of course, you're a detectorist. Very good. If I had a penny for every time someone called me a metal detector, I'd have, well, I'd, I'd have a lot of pennies. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Have you found anything interesting yet? Yeah, I found a couple of things. A uh, nail, penny, a soda can, empty soda can. Not the things you're looking for, I presume? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but I guess that's part of the fun. Save me from disappointment as well. Huh. I can see that. That's a nice way of looking at things. That's a nice way of looking at things. Yeah, although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh yes, metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops. Did I just reveal the world's best tip secret? Hold on. Uh, dialogue, sound effect, volume. Uh, maybe I could... Um, I wonder if the, if the rain is really loud. I'll turn it down to 50, just in case. No, I didn't do any different. Okay. At least for me, it didn't feel like it. Um, no worries. Safe with me. <laughs> No worries. It's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. Your MDC? Your MDC? Metal detecting club. Oh. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons. Buttons. Oops. Hmm. Hmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you too. Good luck. Oh, that was weird. Can I talk to him again? No. Oh shit! That scared a crap out of me. Metal detector. Talk to Andy the Detec Detectorus. I didn't know that's what they're called. Interesting. I have a package for you, jerk. It's the mail. It's the mail. I'm busy. Aren't we all? Okay. Good luck. No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks uh for breaking my concentration. I was not expecting a swear word out of that. I was I really was not. He fucking rage quit. Oh, take it easy. He's just gonna... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. All right, see you later, loser. Let me see. How I'm, you got anything to say? Need a room? No. Then why are you still here? I hate you. 
You are the scum of the earth. I hope you know that. Anyway, so, um... Pokemon Pearl. Oh, yeah. So, Pokemon White. So, uh, that was the second uh, traditional... I'm saying traditional. By that, I mean, like, you know, the turn-based Pokemon game. Well, there are spin-offs, like, uh, Pokken and, um, Coliseum and, uh, Pokemon Snap. But, like, traditional, um, you know, the mainline games. But, uh, White would have been the second one I beat when I had on my DS Lite. Unfortunately, I... I was waiting at, um, for... I was waiting in line to be selected at a restaurant. And this one when I was a kid. Um, I was waiting with my parents at a at a sushi restaurant. And I wasn't paying attention. Um, and I wasn't paying attention. So I was focusing on the light while I was blinking. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. And I left my DS on the seat that I was sitting on. Because I had it under my legs. Um, when I was sitting down and talking to my talking to my family. Um, so I, ha I did that and when our name got called up to go eat, I completely forgot about it. Like, like I totally didn't think about it. And next thing I know, after we eat, after we finished eating and we, when we got to the car, that's when I realized, oh shit, uh, which way? This way? It's a mailbox. Oh, it's right there. I, uh, when we got to the car, I then realized I no longer had my DS on me. No, no, it was after we finished eating is when I realized I no longer had the uh, I had my DS on me, and um, so I, I was like frantically looking everywhere. You know, I even asked if someone to turn it on the to the front desk or the receptionist, not receptionist, the cashier or anything, and we couldn't find it. And then we and I just came to the conclusion that somebody just stole my DS. Um, and it had my game in it as well. Luckily, um, I didn't have... Uh, I, it wasn't with my... Oh, crap. Maybe... A, oh, no. I'm just now realizing something. Ah, oh, crap. I'm, I just, I'm just now realizing something. So, um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, be, I'll get back to that later. But, yeah, I, uh, that's when I, I just came to the conclusion that my DS got stolen along with my Pokemon game. And what sucks is that I was at the entrance of the Elite Four. I was going to beat the game. That is where I left off at. And my DS got stolen, and I never beat the game. Um, but yeah. And I played other Pokemon games in the future. I played uh, Pokemon Y, and then I, I played uh, Omega Ruby was after that, but I never beat them, um, was the thing. I, and I played them when I was a kid. I had no idea where I was at one point. And so I wanted to replay Pokemon because, like, Pokemon was getting really popular again with the, uh, the newer games, uh, you know, Pokemon Pearl, Remaster, Arceus, and um, Scarlet and Violet. So when I was watching um, all, the hype, all the hype for those games, I, I decided to replay Y. Like, I decided to replay it officially. And I got farther than I was when I left off. And I, I kind of remember where I'm at right now. I th yeah, I, I know where I'm at. Um, I'm at where I need to beat the Elite Four. I'm, at the, I'm actually at the entrance, entrance of the Elite Four. That's where I am in Pokemon Y. I should go beat it, but I'm kind of focusing on Pearl right now. Oops, wrong button. But yeah, and it's continuing on that thought I, about what I just realized. Um, before I I went back to play Pokemon Y, I was just looking around and see, looking at all my games I had left for my for my Game Boy Advance, which I think either got stolen or I lost it somewhere. Mm, these look like bills because I couldn't find it because I left it at my cousin's house and I never found it after that. Um, but yeah. But anyways, so I was looking. I was looking to see what games I had left, and I made the realization that I had a lot of DS games missing. Like my, my, my normal DS Lite games were missing. I didn't understand why. I was like, man, why, 
why are all my games um, gone? And I, in talking about how my DS got stolen, I made the realization that that my DS got stolen along with the the case I had for it. You know, like um, there's always like the case for like your DS or your 3DS or your Switch, right? I just made. I think I just now made the real, realization that my case that I had a case for my DS Lite, and I had majority of the games in there, and they got stolen along with it. Because I, because like when I was cleaning up my 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 uh, my desk, my room, I realized that like my games were missing. I'm like, why why am I missing some DS games? I, and I could not understand why. I I kept like I kept looking around. I asked if uh, my sister had any games on her. And nothing, but I just now realized that I think the reason why they're gone or they're missing is because they got stolen along with my DS. It's it's been like how old am I now? I'm 24 right now. And I think I got stolen when I was maybe a little over 10 years, maybe like 11, 12 years, um, 12 years at most. But yeah, yeah that got stolen, and I am just now realizing why I have missing DS games and stuff. But yeah, that moment I'll always be like salty about, you know, I'm still salty about it now. If you couldn't tell. But yeah. No, no answer. And for years, I had, I and my my family had assumed that my dad had secretly taken my DS and hid it somewhere. Because my dad will always tell me how um, I'm going to, I'm going to lose it. So he would keep it. So he will grab it and hide it. And stuff like that. And I remember this one time he did that when I left it like just downstairs um, in the house, and he just took it and just hit it for no reason other than teach me a lesson, saying like you you're gonna lose this and stuff like that or whatever. So yeah, and for years, I and my family had always thought my dad did that again just to teach me a long lesson. But you know, it's been so long at this point that I'm pretty sure he didn't do that. Either that or he just completely forgot about it and he won't, you know, he just doesn't remember. Because I remember there was a point I, I was like digging through my dad's closet in his room to see if it was there. That's where he hit it last time. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my story with Pokemon games. Um, but yeah, I'm currently working on uh, Pearl... Uh, remastered now. I'm having What's a lot of fun. Of I'm having a lot of fun with it. And yeah. I think that's all I got to say about that. I don't really have anything else. Oh, I think my sister just got home. I think so. Yeah, I think she's got home from work. Time to finish it up. I like how in the game today is Saturday. And in real life it is Saturday. But unfortunately it's not raining. It's hot as balls. Well, I guess I can't enter that way. Oh, crap. Alright. Return to post office. And so ends a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? Are you happy it's over? If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. I guess you can't have it all, Frank. They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Uh, I don't care too much about gambling. Sorry, Frank, but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait, this was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you that they still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. 
Uh. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Oh, yeah, that's right. So right now I'm having a dilemma on either whether I should um, join the other job. Hello. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Uh... Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Hello. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oak? Hi, Mom. I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about here? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Hmm. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. Um, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! Oh, they're gambling. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 5. Oh, to be outside for once, Cecilia sighed. Babbling brooks, the smell of pine trees, low grunting sounds of deer in the distance, and the quacking of ducks, nature's peaceful splendor, and even the meow of a common house cat with a freshly caught duckling. Wait, a duckling? Let go of it. Come here. Don't run away from me, you little devil! Oh, what's happening? I can never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be would be like this. I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its ups has its upsides. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic in Moe's Diner. Excuse me. Oh, I'm already here. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. Ha! Huh? This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying... Please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. 
So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! I don't get it. I was well, thinking folks, thinking. wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Will I finally get my blueberry Hello, pie? How are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? It doesn't look all that different, but yeah, I love it. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Uh, that's a wonderful oh, news. That's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Yes, and you freaking deserve it. I must admit, it. it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. You are a loser. Oh, poor you. <laughs> as much as I hate you, I don't, I'm not going to say that. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. What do you mean you can't play like that? Your neck. Dear people, none other than our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you guys can't hear the music. I don't know that the song can even play anyways. Damn it. Yay. Darling, this does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. But what are you doing here? Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, okay. Thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here 
that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Chase Place. Mokays. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Okay, hold on. I want to do. So I want to say something about the music. Um, I think I think on my own time, uh, or maybe during this, during this recording, I'll go back, replay the whole damn day, um, but with the music volume up because uh, because that was weird. Uh, I was hoping the music wouldn't be so quiet, but it was. Um, but I'll try to re-record that, and um, but have it be a full volume. I don't know if I'll be copyright strike for it if i am then or a copyright claim not strike but if i am well uh then i'll just re-upload but with the audio cut out and stuff like that or or upload a newer version and have the old version be unlisted well you know i'll probably have the link available for you guys to watch it um anyways that was amazing that was amazing Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me, like, a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> But it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Em. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. I promise you'll keep in touch. Whatever the outcome, yeah? I'll do my best. And remember... Time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. Aww. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. Well, I find you my blueberry pie. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? It was great. Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Uh, I want to know, how do you make a choice like that? Because right now, I think by the end of this, I don't know this might be the ending or this might even be the last part. But I think we're really close to the end. And I think it's going to come to a choice between staying or leaving and that is gonna be hard because you know it was, it was honestly really fun to play this you know i enjoyed my time here but uh i'll save these thoughts for later until like i should get to the ending but yeah how about this one yeah but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like something on your mind hon no
Yeah, no, I'll be honest. I'm feeling a bit weird tomorrow. I know. I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just, but that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around, move back. Honestly? No clue? Honestly? No. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. Yes. Yes, I am. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. That's a bit direct. I'm gonna be like, how so? How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up, and plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. You know, I completely agree with that sentiment, but at the same time, I'm like consistently paranoid. Uh. I don't know, that's uncharacteristically deep. No, nah, I want to say it's uncharacteristic. How do you live your life then? But how do you live your life then? Want to know my advice? Yes. You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? So I'm having an existential crisis right now. Well, like, a lot of things are flooding my, my brain. Uh, that, uh... That hit me a lot harder than I expected. I was not expecting that from an indie game, but oh my god. Um, well, uh, I'll continue this later. Uh, thanks, Maureen. That makes sense. I'm still not sure I know what to do, but I'll try. I'm not convinced about wanting to take... But yeah, that makes sense. Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be alright, hon. You just keep checking what feels right. And if not... Just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Monday morning. Either I'm going to finish the game today... Or making my final deliveries. Dear Meredith Weiss, thank you for participating in our annual photography contest. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this. The picture did not win the grand prize, but you are still a winner. The attached voucher gives you a 20% discount to our autumn course. Sign up today and never take a blurry picture again. David Gillespie, Photography for Beginners, Inc. Good morning, Meredith. God damn, I'm scared of crap out of me, Frank. weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. Oh, nice. They played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Ha <laughs> ha, Meredith. I guess you're right. I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh what do I do? Uh, I think I'm at the ending. Oh, crap. 
I mean, I'll I'll do both endings, but uh, um, um, I I I gotta take Maureen's advice. Take the first step. What do I want to do? I think I'll wear it up a little bit longer. I don't mind. I don't mind the job. And yes. I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Eh, eh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. <laughs> no. Um, that. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha, you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning. Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive <laughs> or vet pee. I don't need callers for today's P.O. Positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no. Actually, I am not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Uh... <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Y yeah, yeah, Robert. I'll pull over. I totally forgot about Robert. Hey, Meredith. Sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. Hey, Robert. What's going on? Hey, Robert. What's going on? Well, this is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and... Probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Stuff like this? Stuff like this? Yeah, you know, I'm a man, you're a woman, I like you. A lot. I didn't want to give in to it. I've been through a rough breakup once, and I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Um. Do you propose I get into your car? So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Well, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. But I'll call you. I kind of can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith, I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. Have a great day. Thanks, Robert. It's mainly because I'm focusing on delivering mail right now. It's not because I'm not interested. Sorry for putting in, folks, but I've got a treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own KF. Oh, that is the ending. Wow, okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. I think I'll head back. Yes. All right. Uh, wow. So that was the ending. I guess there are multiple options for that last part. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, now I'll go ahead and play through, play through it again, but I think I'll play the, I think I'll uh, do it again another time though. Instead, I'll, uh, I think I'll call it here for today. I'll post up, I think I'll post like the second ending 
the other ending later. Um, or whatever other endings I can think of. Because um, right now it's like almost like an hour and I'm getting tired. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like the please hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on when I post videos. And follow me on twitch.tv slash calcuity. And I may start streaming at one point. I think I might try to stream Persona or any online games for that matter. Like I might go back to Halo now that uh, Season 4 is out right now. And then maybe stream Persona. I think I already said that. Or stream uh, Street Fighter 6 and stuff like that. But in the meantime, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.